Okay guys, so I'm gonna start off by moisturizing my face. I'm in shambles right now, like, you know when you're looking for something and you swear, like you put it somewhere. Yeah, and you look, and it's not there. Like, I know I'm not crazy. I know I'm not going crazy. I just don't understand what happened to it. But, um, luckily I found something to use to replace that. Anyways, as I promised, more videos of me talking to the camera are coming because this whole like setup is really hard to figure out. Like I think audio has to be one of the hardest things for me to conquer, for me to work on because I'm like, trying to get you guys to like not hear the camera auto focusing or the or people in the background or cars pack passing by. Like it's so so annoying. But anyway, I'm gonna do a quick beat. Um just wanna get my day started. I didn't know if I was gonna re record this, but I decided why not because I'm gonna put on makeup anyway. So I'm just gonna prime my face with the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. What look, what type of look I wanna do today. I put, I put my um, under eye cream on already. And I got my little cute ass bonnet on. Isn't this so cute? It also protects your edges, girl. I'm gonna take some color corrector. Put that on those dark areas. Cover up. What is that like purple halo? Oh, like that purple halo is the reflection of the curtain in the background. I'm like, what the hell is that? I thought something was going on with my actual like equipment, camera, whatever. I'm gonna set this because I don't want it to be moving all over the place when I put my foundation on. I think I'm gonna go for something like I don't know what I'm gonna go for today, to be honest. I don't know, every time I say I'm gonna do something simple, I don't, it don't be simple. <laughs> it really don't be simple. Like, I, it's just the opportunity to pull out all the stuff I haven't used in forever. Cause like, really, you be having makeup so long and be forgetting just like what you have and what you use that you end up like, or at least I end up buying more makeup and not using the stuff I have. So any opportunity I get to sit and play with the stuff, girl, girl, listen. I would just be doing the most, and I already could tell I'm probably gonna put glitter on my eyes today. I don't know if I should do this. what I'm wearing. I got like a black stripe going on. It's these like Huda palettes that I got. I like these and these are so cute for like traveling. Um, priming my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is the original one. This is my favorite eyeshadow primer for oily eyelids. And if you have hooded eyelids, like I do, I got a little bit of a hood. And in that crease, my eyelids, like where it creases, where it folds, it tends to get oily in there, so. All right, now that my eyebrows is done, I'm gonna go in with my usual MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. Look at that, I almost need a new one. I'm gonna take like a buffing sort of brush um, like this 
and I'm gonna buff a light layer all over my lid. Just like this. I've been using this stuff for years. Like, let me know if you have a eyeshadow base that you really like that doesn't crease or get oily throughout the day and it shows really well like it, it the colors you put on top of it shows it really well because I've had a lot of colors and nothing has beaten my not a lot of colors and a lot of bases but nothing has beaten my I want to use a little bit of this and I also want to use my Saharan palette because they have like those nice warm colors in it. But I'm going to take this shade here. Cut crease thing. Like I don't find that they look very flattering on my eyelid and on my like face shape especially when I cut it going above the crease if I stay true to the crease like my natural eye shape I like it a lot more I'm noticing nowadays like I feel like I just look so extra like so drag looking when I go above my crease and that's too much for me. It's too much drama for me. I really like the mirror that comes in here too. Go into this orange here. And I'm gonna pop that slightly lower in the crease. It's almost the same color, but it's a tad bit darker. Just a tiny, tiny bit. After taking the same brush though, because I'm lazy, I'm not about that cleaning life. I hate cleaning brushes, like, there's some people who really enjoy it. I am not one of them, and nobody likes to clean my brushes for me, even if I offer to pay. That means that you try to get as many uses out of the products that you have. I'm gonna take this dense but sort of thin brush and I'm going to go in a little bit tighter, a little bit lower, working my way down. Actually, I changed my mind. I'm gonna take this color and I'm gonna put that, cause it's warm. It's a very warm brown and I'm gonna pop that a little bit lower, like right in here, right there. Just like this and I'm patting it first because if I start blending right away it's going to cover all of that previous work that I did and I like to tilt my head back a little bit so I can really see where I'm putting this color and I'm just mapping it out from outer to inner I'm rounding this out this look out because I don't want to have a winged out effect I want a little bit more of a rounder eye today and then I'm just gonna softly swirl make little swirls and you're gonna see that color start to diffuse so a little swirl around. I'm gonna go right up right at the end of the colors in with this color now that dark but it's more of a 
how should I say like it's more of a cool tone but it's still fairly warm worm it's feel it's still fairly warm and I'm gonna repeat that step getting even closer to my lid with the same brush I did with the other brown It's just gonna help like add depth and dimension to the look. Brown gel liner, like this one. This is by L'Oreal, it's really dark. Um, and I'm going to put this on top of my eyelid as a base. And I'm gonna put this Close to my lash line as possible because I want the darkest color to be deposited here. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna do too much. I'm gonna stick with the same palette and I'm gonna use the same brown because it's pretty dark and I don't feel like pulling out any more of their palettes. So this is actually perfect. Pat that right over in the lid and buff into the crease. I'm gonna use this J Cat Gingerbread Sugar Sparkling Powder. It looks like this. Let's see if you can see it. This is what it looks like. So pretty. I'm gonna put that all over my eyelid. And to stick it, I'm gonna use the MAC Mixing Medium Gel Liner. You could also use the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I feel like this one gives me the, the least amount of like transfer up. So I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna keep this pretty much on my lid. I'm not gonna take it high up. Start with a little bit at a time. And put this on. Gonna use the matte blush 
in the shade Swiss Chocolate. Okay, and then I'm gonna use my Black Radiance Contour Palette. I'm gonna take the darkest shade again. For highlight, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Master Chrome. Master Chrome, but before I do that, I'm gonna spray my face with the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe, Cucumber, and Green Tea. I'm gonna block my eyes. I'm gonna take that highlighter and pop that on. I'm also gonna take a little bit of MAC Gold deposit and just to give me a little bit more of a bronzy effect. Inner tear duct. I think I want to put a little satin satin here. So I'm going to put this gold shade that's in the Huda Beauty palette using a little pencil brush. Now I need to pick out a lip. I know. Let's see. I'm gonna pick out, I'm gonna start with this uh, dark brown eye pencil, lip pencil by Nika K. this by Too Faced. It's in the shade Cool Girl. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. 